Hey friends, how about a rocket ship today? Um, I thought it would just be a super fun activity to do um, for, for anybody, girls, boys, adults, kids. And so I am gonna do a multimedia piece, meaning I am gonna use different mediums or materials to make my artwork. So you think about what you have at home, gather up your supplies while I kind of give you an overview of what I'm gonna use. I've got some thick paper that's great for painting on. So this is watercolor paper. Um, I've got a water cup with water in it, a couple of different size brushes. I have my watercolors that I made from water and markers. Uh, washable markers are great. And then I've got um, a permanent marker. I've got oil pastels hiding underneath here. I love Crayola oil pastels. Um, and so, you guys can go gather up your supplies and uh, whatever you have, crayons, markers, color pencils, paints, um, acrylics, anything you got. And if you wanna go grab your kids, great. If not, you and I can paint and they can paint later, right? All right, I will see you shortly. Now, let's get started. My rocket ship is going to be shooting off into outer space with a planet underneath and a planet off in the distance. You want to draw with pencil first. That way, if you mess up, you can erase. I always draw with markers so you can see what I'm doing. I am going to say this is about the middle of my paper, so I am going to draw a curved line about like that. And then I will make a curved line again that is very similar. So it does come to a point, but not down here. Down here, we are going to connect and connect just like that with two curve lines. And then up here, we are going to do another curve line for the top of the rocket ship. We need a circle window so our astronauts can see out in another circle. <clears throat> then we need some wings on our rocket ship, right? So I'm gonna do a diagonal and a diagonal. Notice our rocket ship has symmetry. If we draw a line down the middle, it's the same or similar on both sides. Um, so I've got a diagonal and then I'm gonna put another diagonal and another diagonal, and then we will connect, connect, so it's got its wings, right? Now, we gotta have some flames coming out of our rocket ship, right? So I'm gonna do a curve and a curve, diagonal, diagonal, curve, flip, curve like a smile, just like that, and then we could do the same, thing but smaller inside so now we have this excellent very simple rocket ship that of course you or your kiddos could add on so many more details like USA or a flag or their name um, they could put designs on the wings right now we need an earth over this way so it's just launched off the earth. This earth is way off in the distance, right? It would be much bigger if it was closer. And then what if we did a planet that's out here further, right? So we do another circle. Um, if circles are tricky for you, a thing that I like to do is go around and find round circular things, put them on the paper and then trace them. So if you don't want to struggle with making a circle, you just find something that's round the size you need and trace it. Like this, I could have put a plate down and just traced part of the plate, right? Now we are going to do a curve line around just like that. And then same thing, curve line around, just like that. Now, if you have an eraser, you're gonna erase that line right there. I do not because I am using marker, so that way you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so I'll just use a little bit of white out, cover that up, and now you can't even tell. Okay, so, 
that is about it for our basic, basic rocket ship. I completely encourage you to add more. Get that imagination going. Put all kinds of fun details and designs. Maybe there's a person in your rocket ship. Maybe there's an alien in there. Okay, now you could, if you wanted to, trace your pencil lines with Sharpie or a black marker like what I did. Or um, you can just leave the pencil lines and bust out the oil pastels. So, here is my oil pastels Crayolas. And in here, um, I've got different colors. This is just a 16 pack. You can buy bigger packs, smaller packs. Um, but this is uh, just a, a good size Crayola pack of oil pastels. I love them so much because they're um, very cost efficient. They are user friendly. They're bright, they're vibrant, amazing. I rave about them all the time. Anybody that'll listen to me. Now, um, I am going to use some yellow and I am going to draw some stars. Now, the reason I didn't draw the stars with pencil or marker first is because yellow is super see-through and I didn't want to see those lines. So I'm gonna hold this up closer for you so you can see. There's the stars. Okay. Oop. There we go. All right, and then I can just do some little twinkles around the stars. Here we go. Ta -da. just like that okay now think about this planet up here what what color is that planet going to be and it, it can be whatever colors you want that is the amazing wonderful thing about art is you get to transform reality into your own made up world right that's why I love so art so much, because I can just put my own twist on things. So I did pink, and then I did red, and then I'm doing white over the top of it, so it kind of blends it together. That's pretty cool. See? Nice. All right, and then I gotta think, what color do I want these rings to be? Maybe this kind of pinky, uh, purpley color. I mean, obviously it's more purple, but there we go. Now the oil pastel covered up where I had to use the white out. If I was painting with watercolors, it probably wouldn't have covered it up. So you have to think about that if you decide to use white out like I did. And then of course your rocket ship. You know, you gotta think about what colors you want on that. Maybe mine is a very patriotic rocket ship. There we go. Maybe the wings look like flags. So let's see, this part would be blue. And this part would be blue. I guess from this angle, right? If we were coming at it from a different angle, it might not be. And then we have the red stripes. Definitely can't fit 13 on this guy. Now, I will say oil pastels are a little bit thick, so it's hard to do real small details. So, um, but that's okay. And maybe I'll do blue in here. And normally, I don't let my kids leave white space. I'm gonna do lines like that on the window. And then I'm gonna take my white, which my white has smudgies on it. So to get those smudgies off, you just rub it on a paper towel um, or napkin or something like that and then you can you can rub off those other smudged colors that are on there. There we go. I'll just go ahead. And, I was going to paint the tip in, but I'll just go ahead and color it in. 
All right, and then let's see. Maybe red to blue. There we go. Ta -da, da 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 Okay, and obviously where they crossed it made purple, but that's okay. Um, and then how about some yellow? And we'll blend with some yellowy orange. And then we'll blend with some orange. Like this. And then we'll throw some red in there. All right. Now the harder you push with your oil pastels, the more they look like, almost like paint versus crayon. But if you're trying to blend, you don't wanna to push too hard with dark colors or you won't be able to blend very well. Okay, that is some really cool fire. Okay, awesome. Now down here on the earth, um, let's think about this. Um, let's say maybe there's part of the United States and there's, there we go, or North America, I guess, not just the United States. Okay. So then I am going to go over these borders. Now you may have wanted to do that with pencil first. And really, if you just kind of block off chunks of land, it's fine. It doesn't have to actually be like all the correct shapes, right? Okay, there we go. Now for the best part. The painting. Oh, wait, a little bit of blue. We gotta do a little bit of blue. I almost forgot. A little bit of blue, because we gotta have the water. So many things would be nothing if it weren't for water, including humans. There we go. Okay. There, now we're ready. Now you could do um, just regular watercolors in the tray if that's what you have. Uh, you can watch a video on how to make your own watercolors out of uh, washable markers. So it's really up to you. Now I've got my paint brushes. I've got a smaller pointy and then a bigger flat brush that I'm gonna use. And um, there they go. Okay, and so uh, I really think my rocket ship's going to stay white. And I know I tell my kids don't leave white, but I think I'm leaving white. Um, I do think though, I am going to put a U S A on my ship. Okay. Now I am going to use some green and work on the land. Now the cool thing about these, doing oil pastel, or you could, I could have done crayon. Crayon works the same way. Um, oil pastel and then paint like this is, there we go, um, that the oil pastel creates a barrier and, and it keeps the paint where you want it. And if you have any details, it keeps the details from getting lost with the watercolor paints because watercolor is kind of a loose medium and so sometimes it does things you don't want it to do, right? Okay, there we go. Now, gotta clean the brush just like as if you were painting with regular paint. And dab and get on in here. There we go. And just work on getting all of this painted. Now when you want, hold your brush and you want more control, it's better to hold the brush closer to the metal part. 
not closer to the bristles, but closer to the metal part on the brush. If you um, are trying to be real loose with your brush strokes and more fluid like, you can hold your brush further back. And that means you don't have quite as much control so your brush can kind of wiggle around more. All right, there is our earth. So I'm gonna use my bigger brush on my sky. Now I want some purple and some black in my sky. I don't want it to just all be black. To each their own, you do yours how you want, right? That's why art is so special. So I'm just gonna blend in little bit of black here and there I mean purple here and there and like I said the cool thing about the pastels is as long as you used enough muscle they should totally push through the watercolor paint okay so there's my purple I know totally random Ooh, that black's intense holy moly can't even see my purple I didn't think it was going to be quite so dark I put an extra black marker in it and man, that did the trick because before that it was not this dark. I'm gonna get a little bit of water, and kind of spread that around some. Oh no, I accidentally painted my rocket ship. Try not to do that guys. Now this is why you want a thicker paper because of how much liquid you're gonna be putting on it. Um, so, if you don't want your paper to really curl up on you or worst case scenario fall apart on you or get a hole, you want thicker paper for painting on. This is student grade paper, so it's 90 pound paper, but um, 140 pound paper is even better. Um, oh, holy moly. You just kind of spread that around like that and then get some water. No, don't drip. Ah, dripped. I'm gonna dab it, kind of blot it. There we go. Maybe I can touch that up with some blue after it dries some. Okay. Blend that around a little. There we go. There we go. Okay, get just a little bit and a little bit of water since it's so dark. Just a little bit, just a little bit. There, that is so fun. And totally a project for anyone to enjoy because everybody loves outer space and constellations and we could totally come up with a story for this um you know who's flying this rocket ship where is it going why is it going there what's its mission when is it coming back how long is it staying like omg so many things that you could talk about while you're painting this and drawing it and then after it's all said and done you could totally um write a story about it right you could even do another project um do like a little self-portrait of yourself as an astronaut right so this my friends is my very fun outer space project that i really enjoyed doing with you guys i think we're gonna have to do an alien at some point why not um so thank you guys for hanging out with me and i cannot wait to do some more art with you oh and don't forget to do all that fun social media stuff like sharing and liking and thumbs upping and and uh subscribing definitely subscribing and check out all the details below um more links to more fun classes that i have done previously thanks guys